then we move to the treatment remember knee osteoarthritis is non-reversible disease it means if the patient have advanced osteoarthritis we cannot as a doctor reverse the condition to the original knee condition treatment modalities can be divided into three main group group one medications group two physical therapy and group three surgical or other procedures Medication, it can be divided into analgesia or painkiller. There are many types of painkiller, most common paracetamol and NSAIDs. We call non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as ibuprofen, diclofenac, naproxen, acoxia, and celebrex. Remember, analgesia, especially NSAIDs, is for short term, not for long term because it can give rise to gastric problem or peptic alter disease as well as it may have side effects to the kidney. Other types of medication will be joint supplements. It could be glucosamine, it could be atroda, it could be pescladine, it could be mobitron. There are many sorts of joint supplement. But again, for me, to take home message for you all, joint supplement, normally it works for grade 1 and grade 2. Unlikely, it will have a major or significant effect to grade 3 knee osteoarthritis, more so grade 4. Remember, the joint supplement only for early stage of the knee osteoarthritis and the recommended duration will be 3 to 6 months. The next treatment model is the doctor will refer the patient to physical therapist or physiotherapist this is for pain management muscle relaxation joint stretching to relieve the joint stiffness and then some modalities they will give you such as ultrasound therapy and TENS T-E-N-S TENS therapy to relieve the pain again all sorts of treatments fall in the category of physiotherapist or physical therapist is to reduce the symptoms it does not change the natural history of the disease again physiotherapy activity will never reduce grade 3 or grade 4 osteoarthritis to grade 1 this is serve for pain management to relieve the pain so that the patient will have a better quality of life some doctor may prescribe you a knee brace or foot insole but must remember these modalities is only will produce best result if the deformity is flexible if the doctor able to correct from the bowing knee to straighten knee then the knee brace or the foot insole will be able to help the patient because by straightening or correcting the alignment of the lower limb it will transfer the load of the body to more balance across the knee joint so the patient may have a reduction of symptoms however this method is not popular in malaysia or in our climate because most of us who stay in this region we will sweat if you put brace or insole inside our body you will sweat and it will produce blister difference in europe their country is not as hot in our region okay